welcome. Um, I am a professional pastry chef. I am not. He is not. Um, he does not cook. He does not. He can do eggs and coffee. First time in the kitchen, basically. More or less. He cleans it. He cleans it very well. Um, but basically, I am going to take uh, a recipe and I'm going to try and have him make it. So today... It's going to be fun. It's going to be very fun. Uh, today we're going to make shoe pastry and pastry cream. Made out of shoes. <laughs> Not made out of shoes. It's French. Um, so you have your recipe here? Yes, I do. Now what do we need? Two cups of milk. It's 245 grams. So there's or your milk. yolks. Four yolks. So I've got your eggs over here, so you're going to have to separate eggs, which is going to be very interesting. Yeah. Doesn't sound that hard, but whatever. <laughs> 40, uh, no, 30 grams of sugar. 30 grams of sugar, which is 30 here. grams of flour. Flour. 30 grams of butt. Butter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I always shorten everything. Butter. And uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. For the vanilla, I would recommend using um, a paste if you can't get a hold of the beans. I know that they're really expensive, but it just gives you those flex through your pastry cream, which is just um, the best. So I'm gonna have you start to scale everything out. Yes. So we're gonna do the milk first because we're gonna wanna get that uh, warming up, basically. We don't have a smaller pot, so we're gonna have to use the bigger one. It's got a nice uh, thick bottom. Um, so, so that was a really interesting um, method you chose to- Fine. Um, Slightly over. Do double. the milk. To double the recipe. <laughs> Not how it works. Um, let's <laughs> let's put this here. And okay, now can you now what do you guys know what he did wrong here? Okay, let me move this out the way. So the scale right now is at zero, and he measured the milk into the cup and then put the cup on the thing. So you don't have 530 grams of milk. Yeah, half of it is probably the cup. The cup, right? So let's just mm -hmm. let's just put this back here. Um, drink that, it. You can drink it. I'll get another cup. Hey, I got it down. <laughs> it's 400 now. It's not how that works. Okay, so so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to um, set your scale to zero after you put whatever you're measuring into on the scale. So if you were doing the flour, if you were doing whatever, you put that onto the scale, which it now says 332. Right, so that obviously doesn't count. So you need to push this one, which okay. is tear, and now it's down to zero. Tear. So you're tear. gonna Something I should know the answer to. Don't ask me that. Yes. Slightly over. Slightly over, but you know what? That's that's okay. I... It's not going to be the end of the world. Now, if you were using, we actually have an induction top, and the oven, uh, I'm sorry, the top actually heats up really quickly. So I'm not actually going to start it going just yet because you don't want it to be oiling. You just kind of want it to be warm, like hot to the touch. So I'm not going to start it going just yet. But if you had um, an electric stove or a gas stove set it going at like a medium heat so that it can start warming up behind you whilst you get everything else ready and then you can turn it up a little bit to get it to the right heat um once everything else is ready to go so this is a chicken egg so you have an egg let me move this out the way you have an egg now we need four yolks um i prefer to use yolks instead of whole eggs just because the yolk is um, something that helps to thicken the mixture and it just gives it a better color. How about I show you one? The level of my expertise. No? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm one, doing this. Now listen, you're gonna need to crack it. You're gonna open it, but don't let the yolk out. It's gonna open upside down. Open it out, outward. Yeah, so it fall, the yolk falls in. Now pull them apart. Which one's the yolk again? <laughs> The white one. <laughs> the yellow. Oh, this one. Now, yeah, back and forth until all the whites come out. Back mm -hmm. and forth. I've got talent. Sometimes sometimes you need to do it quite a lot because the, the whites are quite... Uh, there's a lot of... Come on, baby chicken. <laughs> ...protein holding it all together. So you can use um, the shell, actually, to kind of cut it on the on the other shell. Yeah. Okay, yolk. Don't be famous. So I'm going to let you do that for a sec, and I'm just going to... <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's but it's basically fine. just a, a vanilla custard-like filling, um, and it's thickened with eggs, and we're actually going to use flour. Done. Good Back. job. Back to five minutes. But... And the good thing about pastry cream is you can flavor it. So we're going to flavor it using we have some vanilla paste. You can flavor it um, once it's cooked and once it's heated. You can 
uh, pour it over chocolate and you can make it chocolate. You can put in, um, you can put in Baileys if you want to, with that in for a nice flavor. You can mix it with um, espresso powder to make it coffee. <laughs> to make it coffee, which would be really tasty. I've done that before, it's super delicious. So now we've got these egg whites. I'm actually gonna hold these back and we're gonna use them for something else. Okay, the next thing you need is? Sugar. So if you're using a bigger recipe, obviously you can pour it straight from the bag. I did get you spoons, but you do you. Do whatever you want to do. What's next? Uh, flour. Right. <laughs> yep. Sorry. I mean, it happens. And now you see why. You're always covered in I flowers. come home from the bakery and cover it in stuff. So I, I shorten everything when I write recipes out. That's why it says 30 grams of butt instead of butter. So open her up. All of these three are going to get mixed together. So when you make pastry cream, you want to get whatever thickening agent you're using if you're using one. So if it's flour, hold on a sec. If it's flour or cornstarch, that's going to actually mix with the sugar like this. So you can use that now for the butter. So when you're doing it, you're going to, sorry. Your first step is you're going to mix together the flour or the cornstarch with the sugar. Then you're going to whisk the eggs, egg yolks all together to a nice smooth consistency. You don't want any... I'm a ninja. <laughs> you don't want any um, pockets of flour in there. Look at this. What does this say? Perfect. Look at that. 30 grams. Oh boy. Leave it. Stop pushing buttons. Stop pushing buttons. The vanilla we're actually going to add to the milk because it will um, help to infuse into the milk and it will just disperse the flavor. <laughs> For this recipe, honestly, like a quarter of a pot will be enough because we're making quite a small amount. Um, but we are just gonna do a little teaspoon. We're gonna probably do like a quarter teaspoon because it's it's pretty it's pretty strong and we don't want that much. So I want you to take like a quarter teaspoon and put it in the milk. Yeah. Just give it a mix in to get all of that stuff off because you want all of it off the spoon because it's gold stuff. You don't want to waste any of it. Put it on to kind of a medium high heat because I don't, like I said, I don't want it boiling, but you want it hot to the touch for sure. <clears throat> Put your sugar and your flour in and just give it a quick whisk together just to incorporate everything nicely. And if you see any bigger lumps of sugar or bigger lumps of flour, that's where no, you take this. <laughs> Now mix right. in your yolks. Yeah, don't waste any of that. So use your spatula. Whenever I see videos online, People just pour out the chocolate and they put the bowl aside. Scrape your bowl. Always, always scrape your bowl. Better than that. <laughs> you basically shouldn't have any residue in the bowl. Scrape it. That's why you have a spatula. Have a good spatula. You can scrape it all out. So now give it a good whisk together to incorporate everything. Don't go to the butter in. <clears throat> the butter doesn't go in until the very end. So no, you can't just put the butter in. Use this. Use this to just kind of smooth it out. Perfect. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some recipes will say to add a little bit of milk into this. Um, it loosens it up and it just makes the incorporating of the warmer milk that a little bit easier. So we can do that if you want. Uh, I don't usually do that just because I've done it so many times, I, I don't really feel the need. So all we're waiting for now is for the milk to get hot enough that it's hot to the touch, and then we're gonna temper the eggs. Now, tempering is when you're adding something hot into something cold. So we're gonna add it in very small amounts because if you add the hot milk straight into here, what do you think is gonna happen with eggs? I don't know, I wasn't listening. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you add the hot milk into the eggs, they're gonna scramble. You're gonna cook them, right? Oh, yeah. And that's not, we want to cook them, but we want to cook them slowly so that they don't mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind some scrambled eggs. You wouldn't mind some, yes, but we're not going to have that right now. Maybe we can have that later. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the milk over. We're going to put it onto something so that we don't burn the... You're going to be whisking and ladling. Like this? If you want to do it like that, sure. I think so. All right. Really small amount to start. Okay. All right, stop there. So we put in about half of the milk. And it's nice and loose now. You feel that the bowl is really hot. So now that the eggs have tempered to the temperature of the milk, we can add the eggs back into the milk. If we were to put all of that in here, it would have just cooked the eggs right away and they would have scrambled. But what we have now 
are the eggs with half of the milk and it's all at the right temperature so we can pour all this in here without worrying about ruining our eggs. And then we're going to go back on the heat and we're going to go at like medium low heat. 14 is the max so put it on about 7. Seven. 6. If you put it too high, it will cook still from underneath. So you want to take your whisk, you want to whisk, and you need to keep it moving. Feels like a lot of work. So we're going to put it right into here. It's just an 8x8 baking tin. Once it's done, straight into here through a strainer. Just How do I paint. know when it's done? You'll it know done? when it's... No. It needs to thicken. So right now, you're cooking the eggs, but you're cooking them slowly. And it's cooking with that flour that you added in, or the cornstarch and it's gonna to start to thicken. And it's gonna be thin, 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 and then all of a sudden you're gonna see it and you're gonna feel it in the whisk as it starts to thicken. So once it has thickened and once it's at the right consistency, the butter will go in. Butter adds shine to pastry cream and a little bit of richness also. So that's gonna go in and then it's gonna get strained. Always put it through a strainer just because you never know. There, there could be a little lump of uh, flour that you missed or something like that. So just put it through here. It's gonna be silky smooth. It's gonna be really, really good. Okay, so at this point, it has really sort of thickened. Even you can tell that it's thickening, right? Yeah, I mean, we're just getting really tired. You can see the difference in it. It's been four minutes, maybe five minutes. I don't even think it's been that yeah. long. And yeah. <laughs> right now, it's not what would be like a really good pourable, warm, soft on top of like a blueberry pie. Um, the more you heat it through, the thicker it's gonna get. So we want it nice and thick because we're gonna be piping it into um, cream puffs and we're gonna be piping it into a clip. So you want it pipeable, obviously. So, pipeable, that's a word. Pipeable, it is. It's a word in the kitchen. So now, as he's mixing it, you can see the whisk, uh, the whisk trail, which means it's getting nice and thick. I'm gonna bring this over here, nice and thick. We're gonna whisk in the butter. Like I said, the butter is gonna give it a nice shine and a, like a richness to it. Like butter, butter makes everything taste. Good. Uh, is this very precise? Like, what happens if you missed a little bit? Like, um, sometimes in baking you do have to be precise. If you're making something. If you're making certain things, yes, you have to be precise, but the butter isn't adding much, much structure to it, so it's okay if you do it's it. Alright, so we've got a really nice thick custard <clears throat> pudding type consistency. You yes. can see the vanilla flex through it. We didn't put a lot in. Straight into here, and you're going to use the spatula to scrape all that goodness out of the bowl and to help it through the sieve. <laughs> All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift the sieve a few centimeters from the bottom. You don't wanna be holding it up here. And you're just gonna use the um, spatula to help it through. Like this? Or... <laughs> just kind of like paste it down. Well, just... it down. Because it's not, because it. you could do that, but it would take a really long time. Good work. Did it work? <laughs> I mean, yeah. But it's a little messy. Kind of like spread it down into the thing. Yeah, like that. Perfect. All right, now scrape your spatula on the top, just so in case you do have anything left on the spatula. And then use the now clean spatula to scrape all of this from the back of the sieve. You can see all of that stuff is all the good stuff that you've uh, brought through. See all this that's whipping off? <laughs> it's fine. We should have used extra milk. I <laughs> double because we're losing all of it. Now, with pastry cream, when it's hot still, make sure you get a covering of cling film over the top because it helps it, um, it stops it from forming a skin. The, the top, you want it to touch the pastry cream. Mm -hmm. so yeah, press it right onto it. You're not covering like you would be covering like your leftovers. Yeah, right onto the top, perfect. Cut it off there. But the more you move it, the more it's gonna, it's gonna lose its. <laughs> All right, so, <clears throat> so what we have, pastry cream. Right, good job, I'm yeah. very proud of you. Are we done? 
Uh, don't put it straight into your fridge because obviously putting something hot into your fridge is going to cool, it's going to warm up your fridge. So we're just going to leave this to one side and we're going to let it start to cool. So the pastry cream had... So the pastry cream has cooled down, so now I'm going to put it into the fridge and the longer it's in the fridge, it'll uh, set up and we'll be able to pipe it when we need it. 